do you run labs on your computer like using GNS3 or even G or something like that? Uh, yeah, so I used to do it all in VMware. Um, I yeah. have had some pretty extensive lab setups. When I was doing a lot of my JNCIEs, um, you know, earlier on, I was doing it in like right on my MacBook, VMware Fusion on, yeah. on Mac. Um, but I also have an ESXi server, so I have a lot of stuff running in, in VMware. But it's, it's kind of the way that you stitch VMs in those environments. Like if you want to build big labs with, say, like, you know, 10, 12 routers, doing it in VMware is a little bit, it's not very intuitive. You've got to go to the V switch and interconnect everything. So yeah, these days I'm tending to play around more with like GNS3, which is kind of like a network modeling simulation tool. I'm, I'm sure most of your uh, viewers are probably familiar with that, but it's very similar to, to Eve or even G or GNS3. Those are the two that I that I spend most of my time with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, I did it a while ago. I mean, to, to, to spin up a Junos device in, in, in GNS3 and then connect it to like multiple devices. And I mean, devices from many vendors, it's so easy. And right. even G does the same. The question is like training is free. You can download this stuff for free. You can yep. run it on even G or GNS3. So you've got no excuse about not labbing. So you can lab it up. The exams are not, not expensive. So I, I think it, it comes down to like, what are you going to do about it? Like you have to put the evidence. Sorry, go on. So uh, Juniper also has this um, Elevate community, which is, you know, basically it used to be called JNet Forums, but it's uh, it's just a forum where people can share information, ask questions. And there is a whole training and certification thing right here where there's all kinds of questions where people are, hey, I'm going through for, for this certification. Anybody have any advice? So there's a lot of really, really good discussion on the Elevate community under the training and certification uh, community. So that's an excellent resource for anybody that might be you know, preparing for these exams as well. You say it's like forums, right? So you can ask questions and then people help you. Yeah, it's a it's a forum or discussion board. You can see there's lots of different uh, topics and things like that. So if somebody wants to learn just about switching, there's a whole section of, of Elevate community, which is just focused on switching. And you can see it's just a place that, it's where people can come and ask questions. And there's lots of really, really sharp people that are answering uh, questions all day. But yeah, there's an excellent resource in the Elevate community for training and certification. So anybody that's interested in pursuing this and they're like, hey, where do I start? You know, how do I get access to, you know, what, what would it look like if I had to build a lab uh, for this? There's a just excellent resource right there. Yeah, I mean, I love it. Again, the barriers are, 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 have been removed a lot, right? Um, and there's one thing that you mentioned like when we spoke offline about time. I'm, I'm assuming it's like that you waited, what was it, seven years, nine years was it, that you waited, you, you, you wasted too much time, right? Yeah, I wasted a lot of time. And see, funny how it is. Yeah, so I was working with Junos for nine years when I finally decided to go and take my uh, exam. And I was in my late 20s at this time, early 30s. I mean, I had had all the time in the world to do these things, but for some reason I, I put it off. It wasn't until I had my daughter, um, which you would think like now I actually have a lot less time on my hands. Exactly. And that yeah. somehow like motivated me to finally go and pursue the JNCA. I said, okay, you know, I've been putting this off for too long, um, but it's funny how things like that can kind of give you the kick or the motivation to take the next step towards something in your career. Um, and I think I was just at a point where I was like, okay, I had done a number of other certifications. I had been pushing this expert level one off for many years. I just, I don't think I had enough. Uh, I didn't, I didn't believe in myself, you know, enough that I could do it. And I, I was scared to go and take it and maybe fail, you know, um, it, it, you know, I, what I'm, what I've learned, like I said, is don't, don't do what I did. You know, you don't need to wait nine years. Um, and you know, sometimes the failure is what teaches us the most lessons. So, um, exactly. I could have taken the exam many years before, maybe I might've failed it. Um, but then I would have been able to, you know, know exactly what's on the exam, turn around and knock it out a few months later. So I wish I had, you know, maybe done that, but you know, just my story is that for whatever reason, I just didn't, didn't think that I was ready. And I just kept, I have to read one more book. I have to, and I think I overdid it. I think I overdid it. I mean, I literally read thousands upon thousands of pages worth of material. I, one time I put all the material together that I studied for that first JNCIE, and it was a, about three or four foot tall stack of books that I had read. Uh, so I think I, like, I think I overdid it. <laughs> It, it's funny. It's like a, there's a lot of like common stories between the two of us. I got married in the July, and then the following year in January, I passed my CCIE. Mm -hmm. and my poor wife, you know, 
Oh, yeah. She had to put up with me studying for my CCIE. Um, but I, lo- I love what you said, you know, there's no shame in failing. And mm-hmm. I always like to say with search, right? If you fail, it's not like you have to go and do another year of university. I mean, if you fail today, you take what you've learned, you go and fix those bad areas, like you said, and then next month you go and do it again, if you can. Let, let me tell you a story on the on the failure. So I had, all, for the most part, I've, I've passed almost all, you know, I, the very first exam I ever took, which was like my Novell administration exam for NetWare 3.12, I failed that one. That was the very first certification I ever took. After that, I never failed any other exams until... Oh, wow. I never failed another exam until I got to doing my fourth JNCIE, uh, with the, which was the JNCIE data center. And I failed that one three times. And I will tell you right now that I was starting to question whether I actually was worth my salt as an, I mean, so here I am, I'm replaying Dude. those guys, <laughs> those guys from my, yeah. you know, yeah. my early career, you call yourself an engineer. And yeah. I'm literally saying that to myself, I started to question, you know, my whole world turned upside down. It took me, it took me, I had to, it took me four times to pass that data center uh, exam. It was very, very tough. 